hey guys guess what I have <laughs> yes the monster pro ah, take a little seat for a while here um, a big thank you to Rose at uh, Yuko who's uh, loaning me this for an uh, extended period of time I'm gonna get a lot of good testing on this wheel gonna have a lot of fun fun riding on it too I'm I tell you I'm loving it so far all you monster haters out there yeah you probably won't like this wheel either <laughs> but if you guys are uh, any of you monster lovers out there uh, yeah you're gonna you are gonna like you're gonna like this uh, this version of it I think anyway let me show you uh, let me show you a little uh, road trip I took where I picked up this wheel Well, hey guys, today I'm going on a little road trip with the S18 provided to me by uh, Yuko. Ah, it's a beautiful day, February 12th. 2021 Southern California had a little bit of rain last night but uh, looks like it's gonna be in the sunny and 70s today and we are here We're located like in a little industrial park. Turn right, then your destination will be on the right. Let's see. Yep, this is it. You go. Your destination is on the right. Let's see if anyone's home. Okay, so uh, Nick has uh, gotten it all back together. We had had to do a little surgery on the beeper. The wires broke off on that. But um, he's he's gonna do my he's gonna be the test test dummy for me. So uh, I'm not it, gonna bring up to speed right now. I just want to test the oscillation. Well, that but you have to be going what 30 to to see that to well, feel you that. Well, can still kind of feel it. Like you know when my MSX had that problem. Yeah, yeah. Of, you can, yeah, okay. I see. labor than the Sherman but this is hard so no assistance um, yeah I guess I'll gear up and see how it feels excited oh yeah and but the pre-production but it thing. but it sounded it sounded like you were saying it's still there a little bit the uh, it, it might be less noticeable it's because the Sherman still has it I just can kind of tune it out but with this one it's impossible to tune out even my MSP has uh, has a little bit of you know it's not like rock solid on mine anyway. So we'll see. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, in the pre-production, the you know on the MSX, the lights show your battery and they're like turn signals. On the pre-production, it was just solid, but they've changed it now to be like actual how it's supposed to be. So like right now, supposedly. Yeah. So it's still blue. It looks like the MSP, so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Okay. Move. Kind of come this way. 
yeah. it starts acting like MSX again with those red. Oh yeah, movies. okay, cool. So yeah, let me get my gear on and we'll, we'll uh, see what happens. All right. <laughs> okay, Nick is uh, geared up here. And um, so, so tell 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 us as you were telling me before what Godway just released. Um, I, th I assume they kind of just released a new app. It's kind of bizarre that they've spent money on an app which they haven't done in like yeah. two or three years. It seems so. This new app which allows you to control with new features, the Monster Pro, and what else you said? EX, EXN and incoming batches of RS. I think they're already shipping RS boards with the new features. And the new features are? Yeah, so if I just go into settings here, you can see, you can actually change the volume of the beeper now. So if I set it all the way to one, you can just barely, if I press the lift switch, it's kind of quiet. If I turn all the way back up to nine, Yeah, it's louder. It's noticeable. Now. You can also change the tilt angle. So this is the sideways cutoff angle. So low is going to be normal, medium is going to be a little bit further, and high is going to be sort of basically right, almost there. They don't tell you the degrees, um, but you could probably okay. determine. Like, see if I put it to medium, I try and tilt over the wheel. Whoa. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> try, try the high. Just for kicks. Guys, that's going to blow some guys away that want to do high banked uh, turnings. High. And high Still going. So that's high. For the monster at least. So one, one problem that to be aware of guys that if you do this, you're going to re uh, reintroduce what we used to call the Gateway Dance. And that if the angle is high like that and you have a little crash where the wheel falls over, there's a strong likelihood that the wheel will keep spinning and for a while and the wheel literally can kick up, flop over, and break lots of things. So keep that in mind if you play yeah. around with that feature. What it's else? A little thing, but if you have a newer board, it'll actually, it knows what the motor code means. So it can correspond in the app. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right, those uh, are that's the, it. Those are the primary updates. Now let me get rid of that and go back to the usual. All right. Just so I can see my top speed. It's not letting me choose. Oh, there we go. Are you going to literally run to the beeper? Huh? Are you, you going to literally ride to the beeper? Well, I can't hear the beeper on it. It's too quiet. So Even I'm just going to ride to maybe like 50. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, all right, I'll screen record and I can share it with you. You're just going to go on the street, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much you're going to be able to capture. It's improved. Yeah? Okay. Let's find out for sure. All right. Good luck. What's a, what's a... It's improved. It's definitely improved. It's not like a death, like it's not a death sentence anymore. You start right. feeling it a little bit. But it's not like super hard, like the old wheels. Yeah. It's like got the, a little bit of yeah, movement. You have to try to induce the oscillation yeah. now. So it's improved for sure. Okay, cool. I got up to 46.7. I probably could have gone faster, but I can't hear the beep. Like I have the UC world. <laughs> I can manually beep it, but right. when I do this, I can't hear anything. So wow, okay. If this, if this was my wheel, I would probably do the mod that I do to most of my wheels where I mount the beeper externally um, so I could hear it. But, yeah, I, I mean, it does take a bit more effort than I wonder, I wonder now that they've gone to, they've, they've physically gone to a different type of a beeper. And uh, so since they support volume, I wonder if it'd be interesting to maybe find another beeper that's louder, right? Yeah. Um, but until that happens, I'm just going to yeah, keep yeah. putting it on the outside. 
or or don't go uh, more than 45 miles per hour, you know. But well, that's but preposterous. but this this guy is one of those speed freaks that if if the wheel could go 60, he he'd probably do it. Oh please, 126 <laughs> full in motion, you can make it happen. Or King Song, uh, or even better in. So. Yeah okay. But yeah, new control board. I say it's a success over the old one. It's definitely improved. Well, this is cool, guys. I, I uh, didn't anticipate coming home with the monster, but um, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah, first little ride with the monster. Of course, I don't have any gear on or anything, but just getting a feel for it. Feels cool. It reminds me of my old monster. I think either you're a monster lover or you're not. <laughs> In terms of how it rides and feels, but. Uh, it doesn't feel dramatically bigger than the older monster to me. Ah, this is gonna be fun. And a lot of fun with this guy. Yep. Nothing like new wheels to play around with. All right, guys. I will be seeing you. Uh, well, not done here at Yuko, but I'll, I'll be seeing you later on my uh, monster protest rides. Okay, well, I'm in the front office of Yuko headquarters, international headquarters. <laughs> and this is Rose. You've heard me mention her in some of my videos and the owner of Yuko. She's the one that's been graciously loaning me the, well, she just loaned me the Monster Pro, which is, I'm gonna have a blast testing that guy out. And uh, the S18, which I love so much, I, uh, I bought the only one she has in stock right now. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I'm gonna get that S18 home. I'm probably not gonna ride it for a month because, wow. well, because I'm, I got Pro. the Monster Pro. <laughs> that's the problem, I get these new wheels and my other wheels just sit there yelling at me, yeah, ride me, ride me. But I just wanted to introduce you to uh, Rose, put a, a face behind the name. Although <laughs> it's half masked, Although, but yeah, you know, we can't, COVID uh, reasons. Yeah, but uh, so Yuko, the history of Yuko is a little interesting, I think. I'm, it's, well, this is where you're gonna correct me or you're gonna give us a history. It sure. start out as in, Emotion at some level, right? So actually all the way at the beginning it was scooter board So I don't know if anyone in the community that's has before ever that's before me. Yeah, uh, so uh, what what started out was a collaboration between our team and Emotion to launch a new product and we called it the scooter board It was a three-wheeled scooter that was a hybrid between a skateboard and a scooter. So we launched it on Kickstarter um, I was working on it how basically as a side project outside of my full-time job and I got really into it I was you know bringing these prototypes to work to have my coworkers test it out to have all of my friends and family test it out and then when we launched on Kickstarter we got fully funded within the first 36 hours and so that oh, was when I was okay. just like wow like this is something that I could do as as, a, as like my full-time thing and what, you know? what year was this this was 2017 Okay. Yeah, so 2017 happened, and so we, you know, were, we, uh, it was me, Jeff, Bob, and a few other people, we all decided to just jump in, rent an office here in San Diego, and start, you know, distributing scooter boards. And so that went on for a few months before we were just like, oh, it's really tough to actually get a new product out there into the real world, actually. Uh, I remember attending a conference, and one of the people there was also launching a new scooter and he said you need at least two million dollars to launch a new product and i was just like well i don't have two yeah. million dollars <laughs> <laughs> right. i guess i need to pivot right and so that's when we got to thinking okay what what else can we do because you know just going down this route of scooter board it's going to take time it's going to take resources and right now we have a team just sitting here like kind of paddling to stay afloat right and so that's when we decided hey let's just team up with Emotion to do a full t full on collaboration called Emotion USA. And that's when we rebranded to be Emotion USA. Whereas I thought at that time that it was it was an actual branch of an emotion that was 
you know, that was in Motion USA. Well, it kind of was. But like, we were working really in depth, you know, uh, in a collaboration that, you know, we basically were working as if we were part of their team, um, although we were still being treated as a distributor. So that was the only difference. And it kind of got muddled when we were bringing on other distributors. And then, you know, there's just, there was just a lot of complications in doing the business in this way. And so uh, our team, we operated under Emotion USA for about uh, a good year, a year and a half. Uh, but the whole time we were just like, we love EUCs. Like this is something right. that we're really passionate about. And you know, doing just Emotion USA was just not enough for us. So that's when we decided, hey, let's just launch Yuko. Let's launch an EUC specific brand that would help push this movement forward. And because and we're also passionate about it. And Yuko stands for? Electric Unicycle Collective. Yeah, it's an interesting it's an interesting name. Yeah, uh, so some people say call it, you know, EUCO. We, we just decided to kind of do a play on words, right? When you see like EUC kind of sounds like uke or looks like yeah. uke. Some people might call it that. So Yuko, Electric Unicycle Collective, EUCO. That's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm really impressed that they have a, if you guys, you probably have, but if you haven't, you should check out the website. They have, a, like I've been telling Rose, I think they have a fantastic website. Look like they carry to spot every electric unicycle you want, right? Like the new wheels coming out, the, I'm going to still call them Gatway. As long as they uh, have the Gatway logo, <laughs> which even Might not, be changed soon. You think it will? Yeah, actually, uh, on the new RSs that just came in, on the box, it has Bagode instead of Gotway. But, and these these kind of uh, labels, I uh, bet they're, I bet they're we still GW. We actually haven't gotten a new batch of Nicolas yet, so we'll have to see once it gets here to see whether they've rebranded the Nicolas. Well, I just installed the, the new uh, app, mm -hmm. and it still has GW periodically. It has Bagode, or however you want to say it. <laughs> And it has GW logo periodically. So. I think we're just going to have to call them <laughs> Galway slash yeah, Pagode yeah. for uh, as long as they'll still use the GW. But uh, you're going to be selling the the EX, EXN, the Monster Pro? Yep. yep. When probably, because I know they're, they are doing some rework, mm -hmm. trying to get their act to get a little more. Uh, so it might be a couple months before. Yeah. And right now spring. they're out on holiday. They're out for about two to three weeks for the Lunar New Year. So uh, they told us that they'll probably have like new T3s, the EXN, Monster Pro, all ready after the New Year. Well, yeah, the Tesla V3. Mm -hmm. I just got a Tesla V2, so I'm not gonna be upgrading to the V3, I think, but. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check out the website. They, again, I'm really impressed with um, the layout of the website, and they have all the wheels, and they have great, great parts supply, and you've seen a little bit in the back, a little peek back there. It's a, this, so this facility, I'm gonna call it the international headquarters. This, <laughs> this, this is your You make us sound so big. <laughs> well, you have aspirations to be big, right? So, um, but this is your office, and then you have, uh, you do the, they do the repairs here, I guess, mm -hmm. if you sell it. But you have a separate warehouse where you ship the wheels from. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, well, that's, that's it, guys. Just want to introduce you to Rose. So uh, in the future, when I say thanks, Rose, for the wheel, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. See you guys.